Trayvon Martin, we know the story, unless we've been living under several rocks. Mm -hmm. um, and one of the things that really stood out for me, oh, I forgot to make you count, where are we? Three. Okay, good. <laughs> um, and the hoodie was a symbol, and it really, you know, kind of took over. Who's was wearing the hoodie, stupid people had like hoodie costumes for Halloween, whatever. Um, and again, I'm a slow writer, so I like to say the sort of gross miscarriage of justice um, allowed this poem to come out in this book. Um, so anyway, what I wanted to do was use a symbol that I really thought was flattening as a way to bring to life uh, the character, so to speak, of that story. And so this is a persona poem in the voice of the hoodie. The hoodie stands witness for Trayvon Martin. I was built for bodies like his, between boy and man, sauntering in angles he couldn't hold, but swung his limbs from, careful, cool in every step. I can tell you the story of him, unexceptional. He put change and candy into my pockets, the necessary jangle of keys and cell phone hushed in the sock of me. I watched him from the soft pile he made of me on the floor of his messy adolescent room where I lay beside his sneakers and backpack. He did his homework with chat windows open. White headphones hooked him into some steady beat. That day he was thinking of nothing in particular. He was quiet in his skin, tucked into the shade of me. He was an easy embrace until an old ancestral fear laid its white shadow across us like an omen. I can tell you, his many hairs raised in warning beneath me. His armpits funked me up with terror. His saunter slipped into a child's unsteady totter under the weight of a history staggering behind him, mad with its own power. He clung to me then, wholly unmanned, a baby clutching his blankie. He pulled me close. I stroked his head, caressed the naps he had brushed to waves that morning. I felt him brace his bones beneath me, his heart a thousand beating drums. The bullet ripped through us like a bolt of metal lightning. His blood, losing its purpose, ran into me, and I wished we were truly a single body that I could have held its rush and flow like a second sweaty skin. I can tell you how his spirit slipped out like steam from cooling water, slowly fading by degrees until he stilled.